Hey everybody, this is Bob from Music Store Live. Today I'm joined by Russell Gray from TC Electronics. And uh, Russell's going to tell us a little bit about TC, uh, where they're coming from, and about some of the new pedals and some of the new technology that's getting rolled out right now. Russell's going to get us started with the Ditto Looper here. Very good. So the Ditto Looper, sometimes the innovation in products is not what you put in them, it's what you leave out of them. So a, a great example is the Ditto Looper. It's a really tiny, as you can see, small footprint looper. One knob, one switch. The knob is a volume uh, to, to adjust your volume to your amp or to your DI or to whatever whatever you've got your looper connected to. Um, and the switch does everything else from you know, it wants to record, once again to start your loop. Once your loop is playing back, you can punch in and out as many times as you want, like in a, in a studio, or you can record, let it loop record as, for as many takes as you want, an unlimited amount of overdubs. There's undo, redo, so pretty much all the features that you'd normally find in any other type of looper are all bit, built into a really compact unit. It's um, a lot of loopers out there will loop to an MP3, so your output is an MP3 is what you're hearing back. The, the Ditto is, is a, a full broadcast WAV file, 24-bit, 96K file. So whatever you play into it is exactly what comes back out of it. And you can st stack as many parts as you want and it still sounds amazing. Okay, here we go with an example with the Ditto Looper. I'm going to loop a part that you're, that you're quite familiar with, I'm sure. Um, I'm going to record, I'm going to overdub, and then I'm going to undo and redo. Uh, the undo and redo function is quite cool. You, while your loop is playing, if I hold the switch down, it'll undo the last recorded loop. And I can also bring it back by holding the switch down a second time to bring the loop back and forth. So that's an easy way of undoing and redoing loops. It's easier to show on the pedal, so I'll just I'll get started. Here we go. So there you have a quick example of how to use the looper with looping, overdub, un uh, overdubbing as many tracks as I want, undo, redo, the whole thing, all with one knob, one switch, lots of loops with lots of overdrive, and it still sounds really clear and cool. The, the quality of the output that comes out of uh, this looper is, is way above what you're used to for most loop devices that you, you find on the market. Um, if you've ever had a loop, uh, loop device and you've noticed that the output was of a lower quality, uh, lower audio quality. This takes care of that for you very quickly. Yeah, yeah. It's a 24-bit 96K broadcast wave file that is outputted from the looper. So, pretty much whatever you put in is exactly what comes out. Nice. Well, thanks a lot, Russell. This yeah. Is great. No, anytime. Thank you. Mm -hmm.